I've been a detective for 26 years. Um, in the Organized Crime Bureau, I've been 18 years. Well, what we do in the Organized Crime Bureau is we investigate vice-type crimes, uh, financial crimes, uh, major fraud crimes, identity theft, credit card frauds, elderly exploitation. The very elderly, for, you know, they're, they're very susceptible to this type of crime because they prey on their feelings. Here at the Organized Crime Bureau, we take it very seriously and we investigate every, every call that we get. We gather as much information as we can. Uh, the information is then uh, shared amongst all other law enforcement agencies, including state and federal. And we, we try to identify these individuals so we could you know, make the arrests and try to uh, retrieve these, mo these monies, seize these monies from these uh, criminals and try to give them back to the victims. Uh, un unfortunately, they're everywhere. It's, it's not just a South Florida problem, it's a national problem that we're seeing all together. Uh, first thing that we need to advise our family members is sit down with them and tell them about this type of crime that's going on, how they are being targeted. We need to speak to them and tell them, listen, if you ever receive a phone call of a family member that's sick in a hospital, to notify them first. If they can't make contact with them, particularly at that moment, contact another brother, another sibling, a sister. Um, second, do not give any information over the phone. No, no institution, financial institution or government institution ever asks for information over the phone. I've ran through the scam. Obviously, I have not sent any money, but I've, I've you know, played along to see how far this goes. And it's, you, you can see how they can get an elderly person to really fall for this because, again, their job is to sit there, contact as many people as they can and out of, see how many people they get to send them money you know, uh, exploiting them. The first thing we need to do if you are a victim of elderly exploitation is contact the police. First thing we need to do is to in initiate a police report. Once the police report is initiated, simultaneously we could say, if, if it has to do with your credit or, your per or their personal identity, is contact the credit bureaus and basically freeze their credit. Um, also go to the banking institutions, let the banking institution know, provide them a case number that they are a victim of elderly fraud and at that point freeze the account so no further damage is being done. We all, you know, we all have parents, we all have family and we take this very personal um, because we know the damage that they could do to an elderly person. We've seen families ruined, um, elderly people that are alone, that they, all they had was their, their life savings and these uh, individuals basically take that from them and create a major issue in the problem. The, these individuals, that's all they do. Their job is to sit there, contact as many people as they can and out of, see how many people they get to send them money, you know, uh, exploiting them. And again, they ask, they ask questions, they're, they're, they're masters at getting information out of you. 